Hello, um, welcome to this um, short video on how you can best prepare and uh, plan for your next um, BESA exam or your forthcoming BESA exam, how to prepare and pass your BESA exam, right? Um, I will always tell people it is one thing for you to um, know a concept or it's another thing to know how to go about reproducing that concept you have in your exam when exam situation comes. So um, in this video, I will be giving you some tips on how best to prepare and get ready for your exam, all right? So the first one is know that you have an exam to write, all right? You know, some... Um, I believe I, I should be talking to some range of students here, some even in GS1 class. Right from when you are in GS1, you have started preparing or you should start preparing for your BSA exam that is coming up in your GS3. So you must know that you have an external exam to write. So whether you are in GS1, GS2 or GS3, know that you have an exam that you must sit down once one day you and yourself alone and you will sit with the paper and you write the exam yourself so you must know that you have an exam that you need to write and prepare for so the first thing that like i said is no like i say he who fails to plan and the person has already planned to fail. So if you have failed to plan for this exam, then that means you are planning to fail. If you're not preparing, if you don't even know that there is something like writing an exam soon for BESE, then just know that you are already planning to fail. Is that okay? Then the second tip I want to give to you is create a study schedule, right? Create a study schedule. Um, the thing is, you can be busy with school works. After school, you come back home, has chores and all that, okay? Um, but you can also make out time to have a personal study, right? Uh, apart from what is done in school, do you get the point now? Apart from what is done in school, you can also, you know, have a personal time where you schedule, even if it's 30 minutes every day. Even if it's 15 minutes every day, let's say you give out yourself every day, you take out 15 minutes to study mathematics, right? That can be a whole lot, right? So have a daily schedule, create a daily schedule to study for this exam. Um, I know we can be distracted with games, right? You can be distracted with some other thing around you, right? But then, you know, they say all work and no play makes Jack a double. But then, what about if Jack has all the play but no work? So you should understand that that could be very dangerous for Jack, right? So don't be a Jack that um, does all the play but there is no work. So aside the play, make out time to work and prepare for your exam okay then the third tip that i want to give to you is create or get a study group in school get a mathematics study groups in your school you have friends you have colleagues in your school that um, will be very passionate to um, coming out successful in their basic exam. So I think you, you can take advantage of those people. You people can come together and form um, a group class such that after a concept is taught, right, um, you can come together and talk about it, study together. It's more fun. Learning is more fun like that, right? And they say, just like you know, two good heads are better than one. I know your head is a good one, but there is another good head out there that can come and synergize with you to have a better result, right? And I think one of the things that um, 
um, group study will do for you is that it will also motivate you to study. You know, there are some times where you don't have the zeal, you know, that feeling to study. But if you have a study group, okay, someone can actually call you up. Come on, let's just go and study. Let's have some time to study. So it will keep motivating you to want to study, all right? So please. And then the fourth one is in mathematics, right? Um, don't just cram. I know in, um, in our your education, sometimes you may just want to cram some concept and during the exam, you pour the concept there and that is all, okay? Mathematics is not like that. Don't just cram. Mathematics is principle-based, right? So try to understand the principle behind the topic that you are studying or that you have been taught, all right? Mathematical, um, mathematics is principle-based, is, 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 is law-based, right? Is um, rule-based, right? So once you are able to get the rule or the law or the principle behind a particular topic, then it becomes very easy for you to navigate. Even when you don't study, okay? When you don't study so much, if you understand the principle very well, you can solve it. Like, I know you've heard this thing about, your teacher may have told you that if you leave mathematics for like, um, for like one day, mathematics will, will leave you for like one week. If you leave for one week, mathematics may probably leave you for one month, right? Uh, but, but, but I think if you understand mathematical principle, you can leave it for one day or two days. It will leave you. Why? Because when you come back to it, all you need to do is to apply the principle and you will get your answer, right? So that you must do, right? The fifth one is um, get a very good grasp of your formulas, all right? Um, if possible, cram them. Um, I know why I had to give this as the fifth one because the previous thing I told you is don't cram, don't really cram mathematical principle, all right? Just understand. But for formulas, there are some formulas that you may not understand fully how those formula came to be. Do you understand me now? Um, just to do yourself good, cram those formulas. If you don't know how to express, how to prove those formula, right? Just cram them. It's not a sin, right? Just cram. Um, formula like... Um, Perimeter of a rectangle, right? Perimeter of a square, for instance. You know that formula, even if you forget, right? Even if you forget, you may um, you may just draw a rectangle, put your L, put your this, and you put you add the sides of the rectangle and you get the formula. Okay, but the, there are some that you don't have that time to start arriving at, okay? Okay, area of a circle, perimeter of a circle, and so many of them. So just cram, if it is possible, cram. The formulas, listen to me, formulas are like weapons. Of, weapons that you will need. You will surely need them in your exam. There is no how you will write better exams, and you will see questions that will require that you apply a formula to get the answer. So if you have a good grasp, of your mathematical formulas, okay? Have a good grasp of them. It's a weapon for you already. It's like you have, you are prepared. It's just like a farmer that is going to a farm without cutlass or without a hoe. What would the farmer used to work? So you need to have your formulas handy. Is that okay? Then the sixth one is practice exercises and past questions, right? Practice exercises and past questions. Now, in your mathematical test, right, mathematical text, you have, after every example given, you have some exercises, right? Okay, all you need to do is go pick those exercises, solve. If possible, exhaust everything in that exercise. Because the truth of the matter is that the questions you'll be asked, the question, there are Almost no new question anywhere, all right? The questions you are asked in your exams are questions drawn from your textbooks, right? Questions drawn from your 
from from the examples that your teacher even gave to you in your class right so it is important you practice those exercises just like they say practice make what perfect practice makes you a perfect person in that field right and you can also take advantage of um, the exam guide app for basic right um, if you have not downloaded the app, just go to Google Play Store, download Exam Guide Bessie, right? Just type Exam Guide, you will see Bessie there for Exam Guide. Download the app and start practicing from there, right? Exam Guide will give you um, uh, the opportunity of seeing your question solved, right? When you solve and you're not right, okay? they will display that you are not right and give you steps on how to solve that question all right do you understand that point so exam guide is something you can take advantage of and use it to study past questions of over 10 years or even 20 years ago right all right so then the seventh one is you can get yourself a good home or private tutor right you can get yourself a good home or private tutor right like um, mathematics concepts there are some concepts that studying alone you may need someone to expatiate some of those concepts for you right so um you can get yourself a home tutor or a private tutor the tutor may be an online tutor or something but the tutor will have to um, explain some of the concept that you don't understand okay there is this saying that what a child uh, what an elder rather sees while sitting down even if a child climbs the highest mountain or the tallest iroko tree in the world the child may not see what the elder sees while sitting down so it's important you can help yourself out with a private tutor and um, you can also take advantage of um the exam guide app the exam guide app has an ai tutor which can stand for you as a home tutor who can stand for you as a private tutor right the ai tutor can explain concept for you that you don't understand in your personal study right you can also make use of our take advantage of our youtube channel all right just go to youtube uh, um, just type exam guide or just type Sigma Tech, okay? You will see topics. Just type a topic of your choice when you get there. You will see topics in mathematics, all right? In basic mathematics. You can just go there, watch the videos, um, watch the classes, and it will help you understand some concepts, right? Then the last one before I leave you is the eighth one that is what be brave and confident after you have done all this you just have to be brave and confident you can make it right just be brave be confident that you will pass it is one thing for you to do all these things and you go into the exam hall and you start fidgeting it's nothing people have gone into that exam hall and smashing the paper with a lot of a's right so you can make an a in mathematics mathematics like i will always tell people is the simplest subject on earth simplest subject on earth so be brave be confident you can make it do you know one thing what makes the lion the king of the jungle is not because he's the strongest he's not the lion is just an animal that is brave and confident. That even when the lion sees an elephant as gigantic as the elephant is, the lion believes that he can bring down um, the elephant, right? So be brave, be confident, be brave as the lion. And I believe if you apply these tips, right? If you apply these principles I've given to you, this house that I've given to you, I believe you will come out with the best of results among your classmates, among your mates, right? Um, until I come your way next time, I want to say um, bye-bye for now, and I wish you all the best in your 
forthcoming exams. Thank you very much.